Here's that damn morning bird. He wakes the whole house up by 5 a.m. every day. Watch, he's calling the whole family to come down and eat some bread. So here I am the day after having my um, my dental implants put in, two of them. So remember, I had baby teeth, one here, one here. They call them um, milk teeth here in Guatemala. I never got my adult teeth. They just weren't there. Passed it on to my kids. It's just an inherited thing. But my baby teeth hung on for this one. 55 plus years. This one was hanging on even longer. It wasn't ready to come out yet. He had a wrench on it a little bit yesterday to get it out, but it's okay. I'd rather get them both done simultaneously and not have to go through this again. As you can see, I am a little swollen from it. So um, I had to take a little pain medication before I went to bed so I could sleep. And I woke up at four this morning hurting again. So I took a little something again and um, it makes you a little dizzy. Anyway, I'm good, and I am going to get these kids up. They're going to school. I'm going to Spanish class, and um, I'm getting on with my day. Remember, I can't drink through a straw today. I can't have a lot of hot or cold things. I can't chew on things. I have to have, like, soft baby food stuff. Jellos and, I don't know, soft stuff. I had scrambled eggs. I did okay with that. Anyway, um, I'm just giving y'all an update. This is from the, the screws that they put down into the jawbone. And then you have to wait and take antibiotics and wait about three months for it to heal and um, do its thing. And then they give you the rest of the tooth. Um, and they also cut your gums. You know, they, it's surgery. They cut your gums. So I've got a lot of sutures in here. And I have to go get those taken out next week. That'll be fun. That's my update. There you go. Hey, good Hi, morning, Harper. Harper. She can't see you. Stetson and Harper, McKinley, say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You... morning. Uh-huh. They sent us pictures. Amal, well, you got today to see the pictures. Today is church. church day. No, it's not church day. Do you, do you miss Harper? Oh, yeah. You want to play with Harper? Yeah. Say, come see us and play. Come see us and play. play. Come swim. She could come swim with you. Swim. We miss you. We, we love you. We love you. Mom, don't swim. Mom, don't swim. Can you imagine carrying this heavy load down the street? I don't know where he's going, but man, he is loaded and he's working. So in Los Estados Unidos, meaning when we're in the, the United States, right? Los Estados Unidos, when you need a plumero, a plumero, a plumber, you call and you get your plumber, right? And they come with equipment and what, you know, some basic things, not here. No. Number one, we called one the other day. No, okay, number one, we're renting. And so this should be the um, responsibility of the people here, but it's not working out that well. And what I need is the kids have a sink upstairs in their bathroom, in their bedroom. And one of them put the, somebody put the plunger down and we can't get it. It's, it's like, if you push on it, it should pop up, but it doesn't pop up. Okay. So it's, it's been stuck in the down position, which means you can't use the sink. They can't brush their teeth. They can't wash their hands, wash their feet. They can't use the sink, right? 
Okay, so um, we haven't been successful in getting the duena, the lady that actually owns the house, La Duena, to help us. So um, this time around, usually they're pretty helpful, but for whatever reason, no. Okay, whatever. So um, we called the plumber, Mercedes. The first one was just muy caro, too expensive. So then um, she found somebody else today and this person's more reasonable, okay? but he can't get the plunger out and he needs to dis disengage the sink, which it's an above counter glass bowl sink, right? Oh, he do it, I don't care, it's easy, it twists, I, I know. Okay, so whatever, but he doesn't have silicone. So the, the girls come down and have silicone. Why would I have silicone sealer? I don't have silicone sealer. <laughs> okay, so they're like, okay, but he needs it. And I said, okay, well, he can go get it and bring it back and I'll reimburse him. It's so basic, but everything here is kind of backwards and difficult. And they don't wanna go and get silicone to reseal your sink if you're not going to pay for it. And they don't want to undo your sink if you don't have silicone because God knows they don't have silicone. I mean, everything is, is that difficult. So um, anyway, I'm looking for a newspaper today, a newspaper, a local newspaper so that I can read it for class and do some of my homework from there. Just can't find one. I might have to go online and try it that way and print a page or two. I don't know, I like, where did the newspapers go? They used to stand out on the street and tell them, today's a day of protest here. They don't like the president, they want him out. He's a um, school buddy of Sergio's from back in the day. I don't know about his politics. I don't get involved in that, but um, it's interesting. So there's pictures of him plastered everywhere. They've shut down highways. They say we might lose um, internet, lose power, lose this, lose that. The buses aren't running as strong as they usually do. All because of protests. They brought in the military police. I mean, people are out in force. The police are out in force. Other people too, but um, I'm gonna stay at home. I'm gonna go to the grocery store and um, I'm not going into town or leaving town or doing anything crazy. Not even going to a Parque Central because it might get a little hairy. They're out there marching. Give me a break. I don't know. And this goes through Sunday. This is new. I, I kind of want to go get video of it. But anyway, we'll see what happens. Look, I have a square jaw. It's the first time in my life. Look. <laughs> what is that? Giovanni's mad. I just had to show you. Only on one side. I don't think this side is. It's puffy, but not like this. This is funny. Look. If you ever wanted to know what I'd look like with a square jaw, here it is. Isn't that funny? Look, when I smile. <laughs> That's what I'd look like if I weighed like 300 pounds. There's that. There's my square jaw. I think it's funny. Hey, where's your smile? Mm -hmm. So pretty. And school is out. We don't have to go back for four weeks. No, it's okay. September. Show me paints. Who's paints? John, I want your paints. Um, mommy. Mom, what's my paint? I don't know. Where's Giovanni's? He wants to show me his. Well, there you go. Can you reach mommy, your Mommy, look at mine. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Look at mine. It's perfect. Look at mine. Oh my god. Oh, it's beautiful. I bet it was fun. Mommy, was it? With my hand. Giovanni, can I see your paint? <gasps> Beautiful. I mean, this is awesome. What else did you do today? And my teachers kept their paper. She kept your paper. That's good. What else did you do today? Did you eat? Mom, I got the eggs and the You even got your mats back, huh? Huh? 
Yeah, you got I have to keep them in the car. Then. Okay, that's fine. We'll take them back in September. Mommy, Are you glad you... to go home and play? No. You got out of school for four Mommy, weeks. Do mom get a new mask? You got a new mask? Okay. Okay. What else? Can you, don't break them, Giovanni. Don't break them. What else did you do today? Um, we just did the we sleep. You slept? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Gianna, what are you doing back there? Mm -hmm. Eating. Uh, eating. Okay. All right. Let's go home. Yeah, I see some cheese on Gianna. Okay. okay. I love you. Mommy, I'm glad you had a good day. Truckload of police. Here they come. Mercedes is a food artist. <coughs> I just want a picture. I'm gonna do it on video. Ready? Woo! <laughs> <Muy> bien. <laughs> Gianna. Stop 
Let him ride it, baby. Visto? Muy rápido. Muy bien, muy bien, Giovanni. Bien hecho. This is the drive home every night. <laughs> I think they're so stinking cute. Look at the pattern on them. Let's see if I can get that. Isn't that cute? Look at that. And up here, it's all stitched. I don't know if you can see the stitching. It's really cute, different colors. And down here, look at the legs. You can tie them up if you want to. I don't want to. I like them like that. I like them. Anyway, I was thinking about my post from earlier today on Facebook. If you're not uh, on Facebook with me, well, I don't know. You should be. Anyway, <laughs> uh, my jaw is still swollen. It's Saturday night. I still have jowls. I've got jowls. Anyway, from having my dental work done and a bruise. Look at this bad boy. That's with makeup on. Like, how the heck did I bruise there? I don't know, but even under my tongue hurt. And I remember when he was suturing, like as he'd stick the needle through, it stung under my tongue. What is that? Anyway, so I was, um, I was reminiscing today because um, I had a post three years ago. And three years ago, Giovanni was three. He wasn't walking, he wasn't talking. It was in a little zip zack wheelchair, which you can Google that. They're really handy if you've got a kid like that age. He learned to navigate that thing. Like he could go all over the place in it. We took it everywhere we went. And it's like a bumbo chair only with wheels. It was so cool. It helped him to sit up and it helped him get around. So, and they make them bigger. So if you have a bigger kid, they make them bigger and they rented it to us. We got to rent the zip zack chair. Don't look at my, I made supper. Anyway. Um, Okay, so I read this post from then, and I remember going out to eat with my kids that night. I was just overwhelmed, I was exhausted, I was done with everything, like, you know, all the kids stuff, there, it's quieter out here. All the kids stuff and all the things that you do, and I was like, I'm taking myself to dinner, my husband's always working, and, and I'm going to dinner, I'm gonna have a nice, a nice dinner. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, and the thing is, is when you've got three kiddos that don't walk or talk, or the girls were, I was carrying one, one was walking, and Giovanni was in his zip zag chair, okay? And um, that means that they weren't eating with utensils either. My kids were kind of behind. So then um, on top of that, like if you eat at home, all the food is all over the counter and the floor, and you've got kids screaming and crying and fighting, and you need to give them baths and get them ready for bed and all the things. And I had done it all week, and I was done. <coughs> Sorry. So... I saw the post this morning and I added to it to share my, my three year old post. And I added this, this day I was exhausted and decided a dinner out would be easier than cooking and feeding and cleaning up after my three littles. It was like a circus act for me, truly. 
cutting meat, feeding kids, helping with drinks, keeping them in their chairs, keeping their noise level down to a softer scream because remember Giovanni screamed all the time, that's how he communicated. And the girls were at that age too. Um, you get the idea. So the waitress left a note on my receipt that brought tears to my eyes and in our struggles and challenges as we are blessed we are blessings to others as well i needed to hear her message that day which was simple it was just you're doing a great job i mean how simple is that how easy is that to say to someone you're doing a great job with a heart okay that's what she sent me i'll put the picture on here anyway her kindness and simple words made such a difference in my day be that person be that person and i love that Okay, so here's the original post, okay? Um, I took him to a steakhouse and um, I just said, and this was three years ago, encouraging words, sharing a sweet note from my young waitress at dinner last evening. Me with one toddler toddling, one in my arms and one using his zip -zack wheelchair. All four of us starving to the point of chaos. I chose to eat out to keep me from more chores, cooking and cleaning, etc. We were seated in a booth, one across from me, one beside me in a high chair, and one beside me in a booster. I was like a jack-in-the-box octopus style. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Reaching this way and that. Put it, put it up on the counter if you're done. Thank you. Gracias. Okay. Um, anyway. No, none of them used utensils. I was spoon feeding them, helping them with their cups and their straws, you know, so they don't dump their drinks. You know how this works, right? I drug my shirt f through their chocolate ice cream sundae. I was trying to celebrate with them, get them some, a treat. Anyway, through their ice cream sundae, right, right in the boob area, right, right, right across the chest. Um, anyway, the kids were wiping their hands on my shorts, on my shirt, in my hair. Just when I thought we were seeing the finish line, paying the check and winning, winning, wait for it, okay? One of my littles opened her mouth and it was like an uncontrolled open fire hose, puke everywhere. Where was all of this coming from? Oh, ah, you've had those moments, right? As I tried to use a napkin, those little ones they give you in the restaurants, it was just everywhere. It was drenching her, her sister's head, me, my new purse that I had been waiting to use. This was the first day I broke it out, right? <laughs> you get the whole picture, right? Okay, uh, my new purse that I had waited months to use, you name it. I kept it under wraps somehow, except for the aroma. I gathered my wet children, my white shorts soaked, cold, stinking, and clinging. All of us looked like we had been through a storm as the waitress returned with my receipt. It was then that I saw her sweet note. Uh, still, it still makes me teary, okay? It, it, all it said was, you're doing a great job with a heart. It actually made me giggle inside as I was a tad bit done, if you know what I mean. I wasn't feeling like a champion at that moment. I hear over and over, you make it look easy. Easy? This is anything but easy. I pray that people see love when they look at our circus. Anyway, you get the idea. So I just, I had to share that with you because it was chaos that day. And let me see, I'll put a picture of this little note, but there it is. That was her little note on my receipt. I'll try to get a picture of that on this video. Um, I try to do everything I can with the kids. Like today we went swimming, but today I had Mercedes and I and I had Andrea with us. And um, and so it helps, right? Uh, when you try to do these things yourself with, with three kiddos that are high energy, um, they don't listen. Uh, I've got one that hears nothing I say. I, I haven't decided if she's hard of hearing or really and honestly, or if it's that she gets so um, distracted with other things, but it's constantly, what'd you say? What? What? And she yells, what? What'd you say? And Giovanni, who screams every three seconds because something's upsetting him. And Amalia, who is very high strung and she cries all the time right now. Like everything makes her cry. She's so stressed out, high anxiety. If everything's not lined out, just so. And that's the way my days go. So tomorrow we're going to take off for church. <laughs> And uh, Mercedes asked me today if the kids, you know, pay attention. And I'm like, huh? <laughs> no. Amelia brings her doll. Gianna brings either a horse or her mermaid. And Giovanni brings this vibrating uh, chew stick that I bought him that he's got spit everywhere, running all over. His shirt is soaked and he wants to fling it and spit flies. And then it drops onto the pews and it goes real loud in this old 300 year old church that everything echoes in 
anyway, you, you get the idea. It, um, it's always a circus. I'm used to it. It's the way I live my life. And uh, I, I wouldn't know how to do it any other way. I'm grateful for all of the lessons I have learned along the way because there's been a lot. Um, I've learned that overalls are the best outfit ever. Um, that baggy pants are great. And I don't care that much about hair and figure and the makeup look and all of the stuff. I was into all of that before we, before we had kids again. Um, even before we left the States to come here again. Um, you know, life kind of gets you by the balls once in a while and, and you decide um, what's really important and what's really important are not those things to me, to me. I'm not saying they're not important. They're not important to me right now. Um, what is important is I got to talk to Noah today. I'm so excited. This new phone that my husband brought me allowed me to speak with Noah today. I got to talk with my grandson who's going into the sixth grade in Amarillo. Uh, I got to visit with him for probably 30 minutes. It was fantastic. He's the little one that loves to chat and he and I can chat for days. And um, I just love him. He's got the most tender heart. So I'm so grateful. What a great, great day. We got to go to swimming, um, have Mercedes and Andrea here and little Carlo Giovanni was with us. And it was just a great overall day. I'm also gonna put some pics here. They're having a protest. It's kind of scary. Political times here are getting a little crazy with COVID as well. So um, apparently they want the president out. They're done with him. He went to school with Sergio all those years ago. So they were classmates in medical school and Sergio knows him. His politics apparently are not something that people here um, are in agreement with right now. So they are protesting. They're locking down streets, um, major highways. It's a big deal. It goes through tomorrow night. So um, we're hanging close to the house because I don't, you know, that's not my thing. I'm not getting involved and uh, I don't want to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. So we're going to stick close to the house. I may take the kids to eat lunch tomorrow. Um, but with my dental work, I don't get to eat a lot. So it's not really, you know, not really eventful for me. But I'd like to take them to eat somewhere tomorrow. They're looking forward to it. So anyway, I got to get off here. You guys have a fantastic rest of your evening. I'm going to include some memories here at the end. Uh, say a prayer for me. I'll say a prayer for you. And you know I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye, everybody. This office has something to do with police. And look at the sign. Se vende, that means it's for sale. And it says, al corrupto. They're corrupt. <laughs> A little political unrest going on. Here's some more. And this this is my Noah. I got to talk to him today. I love this boy. Sometimes you don't realize how good the good double days were until they're gone. Now it's time for a few good memories. There are several pictures in these memories of my brother Steve and family, of course. You left an impression on me that would last a lifetime, and I am happy about that. Okay, Steve, tell me. Tell me again. Okay, on no, the way I home, do it. Do no. it. Do it again. That no. was so good. Sing the song. No, because you'll show them. No, I won't.
I, I swear I will never, because no, it would hurt his know. feelings. I won't show Dad. I promise no, you. I'm not no, I'm not Do it. I I rolled fifteen. I'm not doing that. No, do it. No. It was so good. Sing it. No. No, just that song. You Shut it good. off. You're wasting time. Okay, so. it's off. <laughs> Sing the song. No. I rode 15, what is it, miles? No, I don't know what it is. Hours. Must be. You no, sang it. You did it good. No. Sing it. Sing another one that you heard. You better shut it off. Sing no. another one you heard. No. Well... Shut that off, and then okay, I'll, I won't off. be under pressure. I can think of about okay, it's it's really off. the group of about 15 songs that we just do okay, over, and over and over and over again. Oh, whatever. You don't know one of them. Her phone's all the way off. Okay, name it's one. Like you promise? Name one. Because there's some that is on that little CD of his. Don't I don't know. Don't smile if you're telling the truth. I don't know the words. And he I plays them after promise. we leave church. And I'm like, what's that song? I never heard that before. You're trying to burn me. I'm not going to fall. No, sing one of them. Nope. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about. Here are my grandbabies, Noah and McKinley, all those years ago. And there's Poppy and Noah. Obviously, these are my little twins. Look at them. <laughs> and here's Giovanni. These are my grandbabies Everett and Jersey with Giovanni. There's more of my girls and Giovanni. You will never regret being kind. Find the time, take the time, Make the time to smile, to speak a kind word, to recognize another person. And remember friends, kind words can be short and easy to speak, but their echoes are truly endless. Find somebody to say something kind to today. Just be nice. It's easier to be nice than it is to be ugly. It takes a lot less energy. At least that's what my husband says. Have a fantastic evening, friends. Say a prayer for me. I'll say a prayer for you. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye, everybody.